Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are doing well after the break. I'm finally back from Evo. Voice still recovering, physically still recovering from that amazing top eight. But we have Street Fighter VI news. And first, what we're going to do here is break down the new characters announced for Street Fighter VI. Kimberly and Jury have been announced. And we're going to go into an in-depth breakdown as much as we possibly can with the given information for these characters, starting first with Kimberly. So Kimberly was actually teased in the first major trailer for Street Fighter VI. If you actually looked at the end of the trailer closely when they showed the uh, the battle hub, you could actually see that Kimberly was on the screen. They already showed her off. So I know the leaks have pretty much come out and, and revealed most of the roster at this point. So nothing is too much of a surprise, but uh, Kimberly was hidden in plain sight. I didn't even notice that she was on the battle hub screen when I did my analysis of the trailer when it first dropped. But yeah, Kimberly, Bushin Ryu style, um, barring some moves from Guy, uh, you know, she has the graffiti aesthetic as part of her her style here. Uses it as part of her game plan as well. Calling herself the Ninja Star. Okay. Way for the Ninja Star. So I think she looks sick. I like her moves. Let's go ahead and take a, a little bit of a closer look. So the first thing I see, it's Guy's elbow drop. The connection isn't secret. It's explained in the blog post, which we'll go over a little bit, that she kind of forced her way to be Guy's student, convinced him to train her up a little bit. So they kind of hid that in this fast cut here. Elbow drop. If you know anything about Guy from Street Fighter 4, that elbow drop is a problem. In Street Fighter 4, it had one of the most egregious hitboxes or lack of hurtbox. I'm not really sure which one it is, but it was almost impossible to anti-air with normal anti-airs. This move was a, a free jump for Guy. It was really, really a problem. You would go to anti-air and think you're about to get a clean anti-air and it would just beat you every single time. So just know that it's probably going to be a powerful jump in, most likely. Okay. So, target combos right off the bat. Bushin Ryu, guy style, always target combo heavy. She does have a run as well. They've already shown that off in, in detail in the blog post. So, probably gonna be target combos canceled into runs, maybe run stop. I'm not sure how effective run stop will be, but we'll see the run coming up shortly. So, launch, you can probably follow up there with some kind of special. Looks like a jab, medium, heavy into a special finisher. So that's one of her special moves. You can do this move out of her run as well. We'll see that shortly. Run up and jump off them. And there's the Tatsu. Somebody's gonna probably correct me what that move is actually called, but I always just called it Guy's Tatsu. So that was his uppercut also in Street Fighter 4. You could spend meter to make it invincible. I don't know if this will be an invincible uppercut for her. I would say most likely. I would say most likely. And there it is. This is the this is the run, the, the Naruto run that she pops out here. Um, you can see the run stop. I don't know if that's going to be fast enough to be effective for run stop pressure or not. It's hard to tell with this short little clip. But then she immediately goes for the Izuna drop. Another guy classic. So she does have a run and that run does have several enders. Yep, flip off move with the extension. So this move here um, is a teleport she has. I don't know if there's any options to teleport anywhere besides in front, but I'm assuming this is gonna be a homing move. The PlayStation blog post mentioned that she has this move here where it will put her in front of the opponent. So it might home to them wherever they are on the screen. So you can already see its utility in this example here. And she's able to go around the projectile immediately land in front and punish. So with the, the graffiti covering her tracks there. EX run with the flip off ender right there. So that was like a normal convert to EX run into the, the combo finisher. Wall splat, maybe you burn an extra bar when you're the corner to get the wall splat. Air to air EX Izuna. Yeah, the animations are very good. 
And then you get a combo follow up. That's gonna be a good call off for an air to air. Might be big damage. This is the classic drive impact on drive impact. This is kind of like a feature of all the trailers. If you drive impact second, you'll get the, the big drive impact counter where you get a free combo follow up. So that's not really character specific, but she does, looks like a crouch fierce into her CA. Yeah, this one in slow-mo, you kind of need it in slow-mo, running off the walls. In motion, it looks sick and in regular speed, but the amount of detail is actually very impressive here. Definitely one of the best looking supers we've seen so far, in my opinion. Perfect parry with the graffiti effect. And they mentioned that uh, there's something with her music. We'll go over the blog post, but there's some kind of uh, lore with her music here. And there's all the graffiti. So, you know, Kim really is obviously leaning into the, the Street Fighter VI aesthetic, right? They, they want to have, you know, the, uh, the, the influence of the graffiti, kind of the street arts, hip hop influence uh, mixed with Gush, uh, Bush and Ryu with Guy. So, boom. There's also more utility. Oh, I didn't, I didn't notice this, the graffiti on his face. Hold up. Damn, that's actually kind of sick. <laughs> I did not see that the first time. Oh, he has one eye open. You can see that. He's got like one eye barely open. The other, the other one's too painted up. Bodied. That's definitely the level three. That's Kimberly. So yeah, if we go to the, the blog post, of course the, the Sony blog post has a bit more details and breakdowns of a couple of their moves. So it's always interesting to see. Bust out some beats and shake up your spray cans to welcome the newest ninja to Street Fighter VI. Kimberly invited herself to become Guy's student, who is the 39th successor to Bushin Ryu after defeating his master Zeku, the 38th successor. Did you guys know that? Are you guys up to date on your Street Fighter lore? Pay attention, this will be on the pop quiz. Kimberly had an ordinary upbringing, but she's a prodigy who graduated college early and now wants to be a full-fledged ninja. <laughs> Imagine sending your kid to college, they're, they're an academic prodigy. They graduate early. Kimberly, what do you want to do with your life, with your gift? How do you want to contribute to the world? Mom, Dad, I'm going to be a ninja full-time. <laughs> Naruto Runaway. <laughs> she is infatuated with 80s pop culture. Maybe that's a hint there. When the portable cassette player was at its peak popularity, hence why she always carries one with her. Listen, I like nostalgic technology, you know, I'm not against having like a good vinyl record, but cassette? I'm not sure about the medium of the cassette. It's, it's not a good medium, gotta be honest. It's the most prone to degradation. Cassette is not good, it doesn't preserve things. From the producer, Takayuki Nakayama. In terms of Kimberly, Kimberly's design, we aim to create an outfit suitable for her speedy and acrobatic movements. Since she excels in sports like track and field and cheerleading, pair her brightly colored gi with sneakers suitable for moving around quickly, and you have Bushin Ryu-like ninja attire, don't you think? We try to make her hairstyle and outfit beautifully showcase her striking silhouette, since she is an expert at running and airborne attacks. The spray can and portable cassette player on her waist are also used for her special moves. Yeah, they didn't show that off in the trailer, but we'll see there are some unique moves that they have um, highlighted here. The music she listens to originates from a certain person, but you will have to wait for the story to find out who that is. Let's see how Kimberly the Ninja plus Pop Star Ninja Star performs. So, am I wrong in thinking that DJ is the only like music person in Street Fighter? And I think they already showed him. They they hinted at him in the the trailer for the game. It's G's mixtape. <laughs> I mean, G's theme song is a banger. Pretty sure it's DJ, right? Could be one of the new characters. Yeah, I don't think DJ would be an 80s pop star. If they said 90s, that would make sense. Unless DJ, unless D, was DJ supposed to be a pop star first and then he retired and became a fighter? Or was DJ's music career active during Street Fighter 2? Here we go, the meat and potatoes. Let's check out some of her moves. So this is the move where she actually throws down a graffiti can and it, it begins spinning. They mentioned that you actually have to load this up this move. So this is a limited resources. So instead of having kunai or something like that, it's the spray cans which she can set up. Now you can already imagine she has good mobility, right? She has a run with different follow-ups. She has this teleport move. So this teleport move teleports in front of her, right? And she can put the can behind you as well. So you can pro potentially do unsafe pressure and make it safe with the can behind them. 
um, to blow up, to get, you know, punish their punish attempt, things like that. According to Nakayama, Kimberly's arsenal of techniques make use of her high physical strength. She uses genius at play to stock up on a spray can, which can then be thrown to the ground as a Shoryuken bomb. So there's a move apparently to stock up in the spray can. I don't think they show it and they don't show any meter to show like the, the resource. I don't know how many you can stock up on. But this to me implies that it's a limited resource move. So yeah, like a Buki Kunai, it's, it's something you're going to have to store up and use. So you can't throw them out infinitely. Sure, you can bomb. Sure. How do you even say this one? Shuriken? Shuriken. Whatever. Sure, you can bomb. You know what I'm saying. And there's the run. So here they're demonstrating all the different uh, run follow-ups. So she has a run mid, a run low, a run overhead, and then this run into the, the jump off the chest move, with, which has different follow-ups. So there's two different follow-ups from that. So you can see here, there's one where it's like a dive kick ender. And then there's one where she grabs on, gets you soon to drop. I'm not sure what the difference between those two would be. Maybe one does better damage and one does better Oki. Not too sure yet. So we'll have to see about that. But um, yeah, run, which implies run stop and different mix ups. So you can already see where this might be going, right? So imagine you throw the can down, sort of like in this scenario, throw the can down. You can then do run overhead. If they block it, can explodes and then you make it safe. So I can already see potential for um, setting up safe pressure using the can. Also remember there's a teleport move that teleports in front. So they, they never really mentioned if you can teleport behind, they explicitly say it's to teleport in front. So here you can say they say, uh, during hidden variable, Kimberly conceals herself in colorful smoke before instantly appearing in front of an opponent for a surprise attack. So to me, this implies that it's a homing attack that you just kind of always show up in front of them wherever they are. You're not gonna be able to set up cross-ups, I don't think, but it sounds like, imagine you throw out the can and if you can throw it out at a, at a distance, you can then last second teleport in front, can explode, you instantly have plus frames. So it seems like you can potentially set up plus frames from a distance. Because also the teleport will go through projectiles, right? So you can avoid whatever's on the screen in front of you get close, can explodes, you have frame advantage. Finally, she has a trademark ninja sprint, which can be followed up with kick options or arc step, where Kimberly launches herself off from the opponent. So yeah, the different enders, still unclear what those different enders are gonna imply for what she can do, but I I'm curious to know if the run stop is going to be a thing. You know, a guy would definitely do a lot of pressure where he cancels normals into run, and then he stops short and it kind of frame traps people because it's so fast it catches you off guard, you're not, sure when you're ready to check his pressure so that's not clear from this footage yet if that's going to be effective or not or if it's more to be used i think what i'm, what I'm suspecting is it's more supposed to be used with the can in order to get mix-ups set up the can run to approach get mix-ups and uh, apply pressure that way but maybe without it you can still do still do run stop pressure i'm not sure it might be tied to the resource it might not be but I think her animations look sick. I like the uh, the can idea, looks scary. I think she looks like a fun character. And that's it for the breakdown of our first look at Kimberly. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed what she looks like. I think she looks like she's a lot of fun. I like the Azuna drop. I like the run stop pressure potential. I like the fact that there's uh, some new mechanics kind of tied to the Street Fighter 6 aesthetic here with the graffiti. And I'm enjoying the way the game's looking up so far. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.